Question three. To find the angular acceleration of um, the cylinder, we can use the equation of rotational motion. C equals I theta double dot, where C is the moment of the force acting on the cylinder. The moment of the force about the center of the cylinder is 0 0.4 times 200, the radius of the cylinder multiplied by the magnitude of the force acting. And on the right hand side of this equation, we have the moment of inertia of the cylinder, which is 8 kilograms meter squared, multiplied by the angular acceleration. From this equation, we can find the angular acceleration as uh, 10 radians per second per second. And that's the answer to part A. Part B. As the angular acceleration is constant, we can use constant acceleration equations for this motion. To find the final angular velocity, mm, let's use this equation. The square of the final angular velocity is equal to the square of the initial angular velocity plus two angular acceleration multiplied by the angular displacement. Where angular displacement in our case is equal to 4 pi because there are two revolutions. Let's substitute the values that were given to have omega squared equals initial angular velocity is zero. So on the right hand side of this equation, we have two times 10, which is the angle acceleration multiplied by four pi. So from this equation, we have omega equals square root of 80 pi radians per second. And that's the final answer.